I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like we've got some escaped horses. There's one inside there. That one's inside, those two are outside. Not ideal. I have a bit of an idea. Uh, it might be a really bad one, but let me tell you more about it when I get back from this run. You're meant to keep running, Poppy. I love this horse field because it means I have to walk, they don't let you run through the, the stables. So it's a good place to rest if we don't walk. Come on then. Come on. Okay. Okay. So the problem that I've been having is that I flipping love making films or videos. Poppy, do you wanna come here? I'll let the, come, come here. I'll take the lead off you, come. Okay, as I was saying, I flipping love making videos and one of the challenges I have is just finding the time to make them. Now I often don't have struggles actually sort of filming and editing. Once I've got a video filmed, I just want to get onto editing. I absolutely love editing. I think the, probably the biggest blocker might be creating the idea and then writing the sort of storyline behind it. So broadly speaking, the problem is don't have a lot of time, but I want to make more videos. So what do I do about that? And I think I have an idea of how I want to solve that problem. Anyway. A busy day today, a very busy day, so I need to get on. I am running late. Oh, I need to get going. <sighs> Come on. Right, so I'm going spec savers for a contact lens appointment, and I'm currently running a little bit late. But anyway, as I was saying, I was having the dilemma around how do I make more films without uh, the time that I would like to put into those films. And a creator who I've watched for a very long time is Casey Neistat. And Casey is obviously a filmmaker. And one thing that he did was when he started, I think, trying to set up a business and he had loads of other things going on, he decided that he would make a film every single day for like 800 days in a row. And for me, I'm not going to do that because that would be a lot. But Pretty much what he said is he wanted to create a video every single day in order just to practice his filmmaking. And that's broadly what I want to do, but not quite to the level that he did. So my initial plan is to make a video probably three times a week. Yeah, um, that's still kind of sort of the plan. But the reality is I filmed that on Monday and it's Thursday now and I'm still editing. While making three videos a week is something I would like to get to, I think what I haven't really taken into consideration in this little clip is the fact that it takes time to kind of get into a routine. So I think the reality is I'm not going to be able to do that from the get-go, clearly evidenced by the fact that I'm still editing on Thursday. I found the quote that summarises the whole thing that's going on here, and it's a quote from Dwight D. Eisenhower, actually, which says, in planning for battle, and clearly that's the same for planning for, for YouTube, in planning for battle, I've always found that plans are useless but planning is indispensable. I'm using that quote as a justification for not necessarily executing on the exact plan I talk about, but the planning has been useful. Sorry, I've just waffled for ages again, but I hope that makes sense and take everything I say after this with a bit of a pinch of salt. And as I mentioned in that first clip when I came back from my run, one of the challenges I've had is sort of the time it takes to come up with new ideas and to write sort of scripts and things, plan out a video. And I love doing that, but I don't have the time to do that. And something that's very easy to make a video about is just what you're doing in the day. So for me, it makes sense to kind of do, I suppose, a vlog style. I don't really like the, the term vlog, but I bet to do a vlog style video. And my aim is to kind of base that around my working week. So I'm going to probably effectively film my days uh, when I'm at work. My initial idea was that I'd probably film on a Tuesday. Tuesday is my first working day. I don't work on Mondays. Today is a Monday. Then I'd edit on the Wednesday, then film on the Thursday, edit on the Friday and then maybe film on a Saturday edit on a Monday. For me, Sundays, I don't want to do any of this stuff. I want to rest fully. For me, that's like a, a Sabbath day. Clearly, I'm not in the same position that Casey was in. So Casey started making his 
daily videos, I think, when he had something like 300,000 subscribers and he just wanted to keep up making videos because he enjoyed it. For me, I have, I think, one and a half thousand subscribers. And really, the aim of this is not to try and you know, have a massive explosion in followers like Casey did. That's not the goal. The goal is to use this as an opportunity to just really improve my video making skills. I hope also this will be really interesting and entertaining for some of you who are you know, keen to learn more about, I suppose, what a project manager gets up to. And then also just to sort of see what a life working from home is like at the moment. But ultimately, these videos will follow along with whatever I end up doing because um, there's a chance that I'll end up being moved out to Poland for a little bit for the project I'm currently on. Okay, made it. Let's see if I can make it to Spectators on time. Okay, just checked Google Maps. It's four minutes away and it's currently 28 minutes past nine, so I'm gonna be a little bit late, but not terrible time. Okay, so eye test and contact lens check all done. Apparently I've become more blind in the past year and a half. Um, both my eyes are now slightly more blind. So today is my day off, it's a Monday. I only work four days a week at the moment. And on my day off, I get up to a lot of different things. And in a few weeks, um, I'm gonna be helping to cook for about 25 people at our church. We're having sort of like a young adults meal after church. And I'm just using some of my time now to plan how are we gonna cook for 25 people? You know, how are we gonna do that in a sort of feed, food safe way? I'm currently actually doing a sort of course on food hygiene so that I can use the church kitchen. Just to give you context, that's what I'm doing today on my day off. It can be a variety of different things, but there you go. I did it! Come here. Come here. Oh my. Let's go for a walk. As I was setting up that time lapse, I thought I'd lost Poppy's ball, or I had thrown it, and she'd lost it in the uh, bushes here. And I've been looking for it, and it turns out she's found it the whole time. Um, so she made me look a little bit silly there. Thank you, Poppy. Okay, so as I mentioned at the start, I've got a really, really busy day, and that's partially because I'm actually driving to Birmingham this evening to get a flight to Ireland first thing in the morning to do a little bit of a work trip. Now I can't say really what I'm doing on this work trip other than I'm visiting a supplier that's gonna supply some interesting equipment for a project I'm on. But effectively, I need to pack now um, because I haven't done any packing or prepping whatsoever. So I need to get on with that. Okay, so things I'm bringing to Ireland are... problem with filming in the UK is that it gets dark at like four o'clock and I've got no natural light and all I can use is my head torch under a sheet. It's pretty useless. That's what I'm going to be taking with me and probably some other things but I need to go find them. Yeah it's about 7 15, 7 30 in the evening so I'm about to drive down from Sheffield to Birmingham about an hour and a half. Zaffy made it safe and sound.
Good morning, so um, up bright and early, woke up about six o'clock this morning. Got to leave in about five minutes or so. Um, what I've realized is that my phone is nearly 100% full up uh, with storage. I've tried to offload all the videos onto my laptop, but for some reason, my phone's still got very little space left. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do a huge amount of filming, but what I thought is that I'll challenge myself to try and capture the entire day in 60 seconds. And hopefully that means I can use the very little space I have on the left of my phone to capture the day. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes. So I'll probably see you in 60 seconds back at home in Sheffield. I actually shot loads of footage today, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it into 60 seconds, but whatever you just watched, I hope you enjoyed it.